Welcome again to DP Tuner TV. In this episode, we're going to show some of the powerful features of what I use in tuning the vehicles during live tuning using Binary Editor. I have hooked up right now on the bench here a quarter horse in the PCM, and then I have my Mongoose hooked to the OBD2 port. Uh, so, we'll go through a few features here showing you how flexible it is and all the powerful features that it has and nothing else like it uh, in the industry. So let's zoom in here to the screen. Okay, so now we have it zoomed in here to the screen so you can see a little bit better. Uh, right now I have the quarter horse active. Uh, with the quarter horse active I can go in to any of the tables and make changes on the fly. This is all four bank emulation, uh, no single bank emulation uh, with the quarter horse being installed and hooking with binary editor. I can go in and modify. We want to go here to injector timing and load that. Bring up the graph. Let's go to this one here. We'll bring up the graph, rotate it around. And then you can make changes in 3D or 2D. And then one of the other cool features is I can load a compare. Um, right now, I have active here a 60 horsepower tow. So I want to compare that to, for example, a 120 horsepower race. And it splits the screen. So you can see here, this is your active, this is your compare file. And it changes in yellow what is uh, below the values and in red what is above the values and then the other nice feature is you can go here and do calibration differences it'll show you every single table and everything that's been modified and then you can do this in tree view which I love and we'll minimize that and then it gives you over here check marks of every value that is different so then you can scroll through and you see this one is checked. I can double click that one and you can see here the difference uh, in red how much more load boost fueling is being requested in the 120 versus a 60. Um, another cool feature is since it's the quarter horse you can switch between tunes. Um, for example in my vehicle I keep a quarter horse in there which allows me to have multiple tunes on the quarter horse and do emulation and data logging. Uh, data logging, you go here and I have a predefined data log that I have saved. Now I just gave it a name as base and if I pick show unused it give me every single parameter that I have configured right now. I don't have them all configured uh, in this one. There's only like uh, 5,000 for this strategy. Uh, to make it easier, I pick hide unused. My mouse, hands hitting the other mouse. Okay, so we got all that, and if we had the key on here, we could hit start data log, and it would give us the data. Of course, you know, we're on the bench, so there's nothing displaying except for, you know, the old temp with no sensor and in the gear, which there's nothing there. Okay, if we stop that and we go to dashboard, dashboard is totally flexible. You can configure this any way you want, whatever parameters, if you want sweeping gauges, if you want all digital. Um, here I'm showing converter lockup, so you can watch it actually slide up the bar graph. Um, I prefer watching um, timing and ICP pressure and then ICP desired pressure in digital mode and I have that set up for up to three decimal places so that I can watch it the accuracy and with the speed of the quarter horse being so fast it will really show you how well your pump or dual pumps are performing. Um, that came in very handy I was able to show someone how slow their pump configuration was compared to the Terminator dual pumps. Um, and you can make these bigger, smaller, drag them, 
Um, you can make them active as far as being on the top. And you have two dashes you can configure. Um, I only use this one dash. This one here is already pre-configured with binary editor and it's all digital. Let's see, OBD2, um, another wonderful feature is I can disable the quarter horse and enable OBD2. So right inside the binary editor, if I wanted to data log, I can actually data log through the OBD2 port. Not as fast as the quarter horse, but still um, way fast. It uses uh, packet burst mode to get the data. And then also you have read and write. So if I want to tune the vehicle via just flashing the PCM while inside a binary editor, I can do this right here, uh, which to me is very handy. And we'll go back to hardware. We'll enable back the moats. And we'll go back to tuner. The other thing here in data log you will see is a trace button. Once you start the data log and you have it configured to monitor the parameters for each table or each function, you will get a bouncing ball. So then it allows you to tune exactly where you are at that time. Of course, I'm not hooked to the vehicle here, so you're not gonna see the ball moving or anything. Um, let me go see here. Let's go to fuel injection, pulse width. You can see here we've got the bouncing ball. It's just kind of stuck here because there's no data coming in, so it doesn't know where to be moving. Um, this came in very handy whenever I was uh, making the Econo tune to verify where we are in the table for fueling and timing when cruising down the highway. Before that, it was just a stab in the dark with like other tuning software, you have no idea. You're just having to guess at where you think you are in each table and just hope for the best that you're tuning the right area. Um, before I had this, it, um, it was very time consuming and trying to figure out where you were and hoping that you got the correct area. Now there's no questions. You can do it exactly where you are especially in transmission. If I go down here into trans and we go into the shifting. Go here to shift. And shift schedule. I've got of course two of them here shown because I'm doing a compare. So you can see the difference here in pedal position volts and mile an hour between the tunes. Um, and then if you want to look at other ones and stack them, you can go here. So if you're not really sure, um, I've had some guys that want me to put some of the shift points fairly close. I can bring this up and map it. And say if I want to look at uh, the one to two and down here, two to one, and then uh, two to three, and then uh, three to two. You can see each shift right there, and you can turn on the data points. So if I right mouse click, go to properties, show markers, apply changes. So then I can see the data points there. Um, for example, in this tune here, I can see right there, we're getting very close in to crossing over. Um, so this point here needs to be adjusted. And that will be the three to two. So then I can go here, bring it up. And 
Here you can see where I can modify each point or select all and add, subtract, multiply, divide, uh, set to the original and do it by percentage. Um, say if I want to take that and modify everything, I can add say two miles an hour and boom it just added two miles an hour and since I'm hooked to the quarter horse you can actually do this to where it automatically will ride it but I've got it set up here to where it's not and I can verify the change and then as soon as I pick update boom it writes the changes to the quarter horse on the fly um, I can also turn it on like I said to make sure that it writes the changes instantly. The only downside of that is if you happen to be modifying something and accidentally hit a, like I've had hit a bump in the road and the mouse drags something way off and you're like, oh wow, and real quick you've got to get back. So that's where that's come in handy when tuning trucks on big tires and lift where it's real bumpy. Makes it very hard in tuning it without possibly accidentally moving something too far. Let's see. Of course you've got drag strip where you can do time runs. Um, and then on the data log, whenever you pick record, it will record the information. It does a date and time stamp. And what I do is go back and you can play that data back into the dash or you can play it back here on the data log screen. Um, also here if you go back to tuner and you're not really sure about something you can go into the find area. Um, let me see here. I just keyed in timing and it gives you all of the parameters maps and functions that have the keyword timing in them. So if we go here injection timing versus old temp double click on it close that it takes you right to that table and, or that map and then you can just show it here drag it around and if you want to make changes click uh, if you get to the vehicle and you can't remember what tune you're in or if for something, some reason, you know, that because the windows, the application crashes and you need to get it back. Very simple. You just pick on read here. It will read the tune out of the quarter horse and make it active on the screen. And then you can save it and then start your changing all over again. Uh, let's see. Chart. If you want to make... Uh, a chart of a data log that you already have. For example here, let me go find a chart. You select the parameters you want to view. ICP duty cycle. Um, let's just do those and pick play. And you can look here and watch and see where you were at each point. And the data will change over here on whatever you have selected. And it moves the selected ones to the top. Uh, makes it nice without having to open it in Excel. You can do it right inside of binary editor without having to close the application or minimize and go open another application, open the data and view it there. Um, you can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, tons of powerful features. If you want to do a trend, you can map a trend on different parameters. Um, of course I'm not hooked to the vehicle to be able to select the parameters but I can select if um, I want to do a mapping of a trend of ICP pressure if I'm in the truck that's having issues 
I can do a trend on ICP pressure and IPR duty cycle and map a trend on those two only to be able to view those. Um, but I usually don't do that. I usually just go here, play the data back and only look at ICP desired ICP pressure and the duty cycle, um, for example. But, uh, just a couple of cool little features uh, of Binary Editor just to show the power of what I'm using to tune the vehicles with and to write my tunes. Um, very powerful and we keep getting features added uh, constantly for new things that uh, the team is working on to make it even better. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks.